This is about Bluetooth page turners, specifically a, a set of Bluetooth page turners that I made. Uh, I was convinced to go ahead and get an iPad to use for score for sheet music. And then, of course, one of the big advantages is being able to turn pages with your feet so you don't have to take your uh, hands off your dulcimer to flip the pages. So really, I'm a beginner and I don't really have more than one or two scores that have multiple pages. So having spent the money on the iPad, I figured I didn't really need to spend what, 80 on up for some Bluetooth page turners just yet. I'm going to wait a while, uh, whatever. Of course, then I decided, well, maybe I could make some, which I thought might be kind of really hard to do because, you know, it's RF, Bluetooth. There's this whole ecosystem that uh, goes by the name of Arduino, which is this, well, any of you old enough to remember Heathkits, it's a little bit like that, although it's really this whole big open source platform. But it's for learning hobbyists, DIY, electronics in the new digital age. And so there are these companies that make a lot of products um, that fit, you know, the platform and you can, you know, write microcode and all that for it. Well, if was, and not microcode in the true sense, but you can write code on the microcontrollers to do all sorts of stuff. Anyway, one of these companies is called Adafruit, which interestingly is, was founded by a woman, which is extremely rare, of course, uh, in that industry. Anyway, they make a whole bunch of little microcontroller modules, one of which is this really cool blue chip uh, microcontroller tied to a little at mega, uh, you know, computer on a chip deal. So I thought, hey, I could do that. And it really was pretty easy. Now, you know, my housing, this is a prototype. So we'll see physically. And I have some switches on a slow boat from China, literally guitar pedal switches from Hong Kong, which are on the boat heading towards me, expected to arrive at the end of February. So the switches I have here are just real cheap things I had uh, in my spare part spins. So I just thought, you know, I'd use this, see how it works. And I just have this thing sitting on a little prototype breadboard. Built this little housing. But this whole thing uh, has a battery charger in it for a lithium battery, a Bluetooth radio, plugs into a USB port for, pro port for programming. Anyway, I paired it with my iPad. Of course, being an Apple product, there were some difficulties compared to Android in terms of having to get the commands just exactly right. But it works. If I I'll see, I'm gonna both here. It flips pages. So there you go. Oh yeah, the total cost for this for me was what, $30? Okay, this, this Adafruit module here retails for $30, I think it was. I got this used on eBay for $19. I will say it's rare. I mean, finding used ones is rare. This was the only one I could find. I couldn't find any on Craigslist. But anyway, I did get that for $20. The battery was $10. Everything else I already had in my spare parts bin. But, I mean, it's just some wire. Um, I'm using this thing as an on-off switch, so I'll replace that with something better, which probably cost $2. I already had the breadboard. I mean, those can be had for four or five bucks. Anyway, I just built this thing today, the wooden housing, and it'll probably work fine, but I could probably come up with something. 
If I had a 3D printer, I could probably make something really cool. Anyway, there you go.